Now, why yes, can we not have a possibility to run on laws? One man who will keep good and I am In the thing, whose aim is channeled towards seeking the pleasure of others. Such can never be the same like someone who is addicted to sins. He is addicted to offending and disobeying Allah. Most Satan is rugby, always annoying to his Lord. Because the heart of the Lord is a and thus deserves being punished in an award of the hand. They are never the same. You cannot compare. There is no comparison between them. Because the one that is annoying another will have his own accommodation located in the head. While the one that has always sought the pleasure of other will have his own accommodation in Algeria. The other one, that wretched one, that one that is annoying other, will enter an abode that is not good as an accommodation. You see? After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Condemned any attempt to amass illegal possessions like stealing from the public funds, since such is a breach of trust, which is one of the hypocritical behaviors identical to the hypocrites. After making it clear. In verse 161, that all gifts of the person here in the world shall be rewarded in the of that. In this verse 162, I can now make it very clear to us that the good person should not be compared to the last one. And there are many other verses that give us this idea. For example, if you go to Surah to study that Quran, chapter 32, verse 18, Then, if you go to 
the same adding wrong that we are explaining now in verse 179 of it. Allah says, Yeah. 
Amen. 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 It is allowing the little enjoyment of this world to deceive him. Whereas, the enjoyment of this world is nothing compared with the enjoyment of the He will renege on his faith. 
He will rain it on his face. He will call him He will turn his face at the Muslims as if he has never been with them. He turns his face and rains it on his face as if he is worshiping Allah because of the Muslims. We harass everybody. He is worshiping Allah for the sake of Allah. Everybody is worshiping Allah for the sake of Allah. Yeah, a person, a person, a person, a person who now really gives on his face just because he asks Muslims to do him a favor. And they are not able to do him that favor. And for that reason, he abandons Islam. That person will lose both this He will lose both here and here and there. He wants Muslims to do it in the book. The Muslims are not able to do it. And he has lost. Now, religion on Islam is even a greater loss for him. That one is a greater loss for him. He did not achieve his aim from the Muslims, and then when he dies, he will not be able to be among those who will be prosperous in the other That is the very apparent, vivid, clear loss we can ever imagine. You know, uh, for him to lose both, he did not achieve his aim in the world, so, and then in the after, he will also lose entrance into a general. That, that, that is double, double for him. That is double for him. So it is better for everybody who embraces Islam to know that he is embracing Islam for the sake of Allah, not to please fellow human beings. Because that will be a must to the population. If you are with the Muslims, just for you to have and attain to some gains, then you are deceiving yourself. You may deceive the Muslims, but you will never be able to deceive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the knower of what is hidden and what is open. If you are able to deceive fellow Muslims, you will never be able to deceive your Creator. Your intention must be good. Your intention must be good. Good intention is very, very important. So that a person remains as in this hadith reported on the authority of a non Arab companion of the Prophet of you know, we have always told you that the companions of the Prophet of Allah were either Arabs and or non-Arabs. You have Salman as a non-Arab. You also have the narrator of this hadith as a non-Arab, and that is Suhail Bunusinan Arumi. That one happened to be from Rome. He was from Rome. So hey, from Rome, one of the companions of the Prophet of Allah. You should not be surprised then if the Prophet of Allah already predicted that Islam would enter Rome. And today if you go to Rome, you find Muslims in Rome. You find Muslims in Rome. There are many great personalities in Rome who are Muslims today. So, so I am going to see now the Rome reported that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ajaban the Amun in the Rome. The idea of a true believer is always surprising. In Amun, good love, 
all of his matters are good for him. وَلَيْسَ ذَلِكَ لِأَحَدٍ إِلَّا لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Thanks. Such a step will never occur except for a true believer. Because if you are not true to yourself, what the promise of Allah is going to tell you here will never be your own loss. It will only be the portion of a true believer. The prophet says, In as our battle sabra shaka, sakana khayron lahu. In as our battle sabra, if something makes him happy from Allah, shaka, he will appreciate it and say, Alhamdulillah. He will appreciate Allah for that. Fakana khayron lahu. And therefore, the appreciation will turn into being good for him. Because what Allah says is that, like yeah. Once you appreciate the vision I give you, I will use your appreciation to increase the prosperity. Yeah. The prophet now says, Why not so about to the wrong? If it happens that a calamity occurs to the believer, so that he will be patient. He will be patient. He will be patient. And patience will turn out to be good for him. Because Allah says, Allah will turn out to be good for him. And Allah will turn out to be good for him. And Allah will turn out to be good for him. And Allah does not need to continue punishing him. Because when you are patient, Almighty Allah will turn out to you with his mercy. He will turn out to you with his mercy. So that is why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says that this behavior from a believing Muslim is very, very surprising. The hadith is reported by one Muslim in number 2999. A Muslim is always different from a non-Muslim. We are like Indian eye. By the beautiful teachings of this religion. In Surah Al-Hud, Quran chapter 11, verse 17 of it, of the Tana says,
go to the Ubu, what's it has? The blood of what they call the blood of iron to solve his problem. If those ones are not able, he will now be called to be masquerades. And all that You see? Instead of putting their trust in Allah, instead of being confident in Allah, he is now compounding the problems of himself. Because those that he is visiting will only be adding to his problems instead of solving the one he is already having. They will, instead of that, add to his problems for him. It's like a lady I listen to in the Facebook who says that uh, he has a relative who has been uh, delivering children and the children have been dying. He now had someone who introduced an abadist to him. He went to the abadist with that lady and the abadist asked the lady to perform some rituals. At the same time, that herbalist now told her that you yourself, you are also having similar problem. It is better to solve it for you now. The lady said that I was not expecting him to ask me such a question. But because of the way he presented the thing, I succumbed to his request. He now gave me something to drink. He said, when I drank that thing, I was not myself again. I did not enjoy my life again. He now said, ah, he will solve the problem. So, he started embezzling money from me. Embezzling. Till it also, 5,000, 20,000, up to 2 million. It was then that she began her content. Something is missing. You see? So it is better for you as a human being to put your trust in other partners. Adler is the one who solves problems. Nobody can solve problems if and as Ghana has not predetermined a solution to solve the problem. You see, you find in uh, Surah Fudu, Surah Fudu, Quran chapter 24, verse 39, Allah says, What they did not Allah says that those who disbelieved in the message brought by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whatever they are doing here in this world will not be rewardable for them in the other. Everything will remain in mirage. And you know what a mirage stands for? You are going to Somewhere you now see something shining like water in a far distance, and you think that you will find water there because you are thirsty. But on getting there, you will find nothing. <laughs> Whatever good thing is, good actions, that the non-believers may be doing in the world, whether they are helping you in your hostage, whether they are paying the fees of your children for you, whether they help you to get married, whether they buy a car for you, 
Eh? You know, all these are good things. They will only have the reward that you have in the world. Because Allah made himself a man, all masses. Allah will only reward them for that man in the world. Come to the hereafter, they will have no reward here. Because Allah already told you, Wakanda, be in the name of the Amen. that he will only be merciful to those who believe in the message he sent to the world. He will only be merciful to those who deserve his divine mercy. And who are those that deserve the divine mercy? They are the people who stand by them. So Allah will stand by them. But those who disbelieve, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reciprocally reward them. In the other hand, they may be thinking that whatever good things they do without embracing Islam will benefit them when they die. No, they are deceiving themselves. If they want to reward in the other hand, they must embrace Islam. They have to become Muslims. Otherwise, their case will be like a person who thinks that he is going to fetch water somewhere. On getting there, he found nothing. Because he is only seeing a mirage. He is only seeing a mirage. May Almighty Allah help us. Everything in this life is a trial. Don't say because a calamity befalls you, so you will remain on your faith in this life. Even if it is enjoyment you are having in the world, it is trial. It is a trial. Don't you see those of you who are married? Is it easy to have intercourse? It's not easy when you like. You will be sweating. Yes, you will be sweating. And your wife will be complaining. That is it. And it is a judgment. It is a judgment. Yes. And then, if that enjoyment is legally delivered, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that Allah will reward you. But if it is zina, you are doing it with the wives of other people. You are doing it with people not married to you legally. You will be punished. You see? So, is it not better then to do things through the correct channel? Everything. So, everything in this life is a trial. And the best approach on your part is to be strong in your faith. The one who created the bliss also created the brief. Allah created the bliss and created the brief. Iblis is a bad curator. Jibreel is a righteous curator. And therefore, you should not follow the pattern of Iblis. You should rather follow the pattern brought to you by the Jibreel. Community that have solutions for whatever problems they may be facing in their life. If they don't find the solution in Quran, they will eventually find it in what? In Sunnah. If the solutions are not in Quran, the solutions will be 
in the Sunnah because Al Quran Karim is not having details of everything. But the Sunnah of the Prophet has explained everything you need in your life. You know, when Allah revealed the Quran to him, he said, Here you are a fool, but link oh you messenger deliver fully what has been revealed unto you from the Lord and so the professor of Allah did not die until his mission was accomplished and that is a great difference between him and Prophet Isa Alayhi Salaam Prophet Isa was not destined to accomplish his mission because people wanted to assassinate him and others who had other that arrested him, took him out. And when he now told you that Waino Laino is a sign, he is a sign for the hour. And Prophet Muhammad explained that portion of the Quran by telling you that. That Prophet Elisa will be coming back. He will be coming back. Allah will send him back to the world because he did not die. He did not die. He would not finish his mission. Everything is cut up like when we pray. Because now Allah raised him up. The people who are supposed to follow his mission to the letter now change the direction of his mission. Instead of worshiping Allah, what they do? They took in himself for God. They claim that he is Son of God. They claim that he is God. And so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has therefore decreed that Isa is coming back to condemn what they are doing. He will come to condemn what those who claim that they are his followers are doing. Maybe you people are not even familiar with the wording of Quran in naming the followers of Prophet Elisa. Do you know how you can to the Kerim? Name them. Do you know how you name them? He named them Nazarenes. Nazarenes. And then Kerim did not name them Christians. Because every prophet that came into the world did not establish a religion after himself. Each and every one of them only invited people to the religion approved by Allah, and that is Islam. That is why we are reading in the Quran what Prophet Ibrahim and Prophet Yahoo and the Prophet told their children. They both told their children, what are they going to do in that Make sure that you die now for yourself as Muslims. So, all prophets of Allah were Muslims. So, Muhammad is a Muslim. He is not the establisher of Islam. Muhammad is not the initiator of Islam. And that is why what you find him say, as Allah commanded in the Quran, is Wakana Awwal Muslim. I am the first of this Ummah. So he is not the first Muslim. No. Adam was the first Muslim and the first prophet. No. He is also a Muslim and the first messenger. Muhammad is the last prophet and the single prophet and the leader of all apostles. He is a Muslim. A Muslim like all other prophets. And we now embrace Islam in his very mind. And so we are also Muslims. If a person 
calls us Muhammadans, we say no. Don't call us Muhammadans. We are not Muhammadans, but we are rather what? Muslims. We are only doing exactly what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teach. So we are Muslims. We and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are Muslims. These people who have submitted themselves to the will of Muhammad in our religion, we have solutions for all of our problems, and that is why, as you know, if we are talking about uh, witches or wizards, a Muslim does not believe that they can hack him, except if an Allah so wish. The way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to let us know solutions when we are affected by the handwork of those uh, wizards and witches. Because you all know, and you said the same data. How much data <laughs> And you see, I also, I also bought that. I also bought that. The network. Yeah. 
en su nombre.
will be having different degrees in adjournment. When a person will have, uh, let's say, a room, another person will be having a flat one. <laughs> another one will be having a panel. Another one will be having a bungalow. Uh, Self-contained, yes. uh, duplex and so on and so forth. It depends on the yes. level of the performance in the world. Yes. <laughs> the level of the performance in the world. Therefore, when you are still living here, try to stand by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can also stand by you. Don't think that uh, you can hide away yourself from the Creator. Before He created you, He had already predetermined how your life would look like. So, uh, to the this verse 163 is therefore informing us about the very grace of people. Why? It is because as Abuna and Mutabuna Dima used to do for her, put up our window, nothing can attack. Even those who will enter Empire and character will also be having different degrees there. Because you cannot compare someone who is just lying to someone who is watching I was. Am I communicating? <laughs> eh? You cannot compare someone who is committing zina to someone who is perpetrating shit. Even if you are talking about the things that are not up to shit, you cannot compare someone who embezzled the public fund to someone who is making human rituals, killing fellow man to make money. Are they the same? Yeah, not the same. So, those who will never
very good the company. The driver will be blowing the horn. But this person, for being busy with the handset, will not hear. All of a sudden, before the very good will start at him, he will pay attention. And so, the driver will go his way, his way and he will also go his way. This is the idea that is not that is doing that. Ask for your back, the angel at your back. What is his own mission? You are going, and you know, when you are going somewhere, your focus will be on your destination. Now, something will be coming from your back to hit you. All of a sudden, before the thing reaches you, you will look back. And therefore, avert that thing. It is the engine at your back that is working. So, a great amount loves us that uh, he assists each and every one of us with four angels. Mm -hmm. And we must therefore be sincere to ourselves. If an angel loves us, we must love ourselves. If we are having leaders, and the leaders are performing well, we must appreciate what they are doing. If they are not performing well, our own is to assist them perform well. Not by causing them, because when you cause them, you are helping Shatan against them again. You are not helping them out of what they are doing. It is with prayers for them that you can help them. Honesty is the best policy. That is why we are having honest leaders. You should also be an helping hand for them. Do not think that your leaders are angels. They are not angels. Because Allah is telling you that all workers here are what? That are yards. What are you going to do? 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 Everybody in this world is only trying. Nobody will be claiming perfection. You yourself will lose it. Therefore, if you are happy with that, if the leaders are doing what seems to just appreciate them and can't harder. If what they are doing is not pleasing to you, help them with your prayers. Help them with your prayers instead of holding courses on them. If the courses are to work, as the courses will affect them, what will happen? It will also affect you now. <laughs> it will also affect you. <laughs> Because you are all in the same society. If your cause is to work, it will work on them and work on you. That is why you should be helping them with the power that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should help them to adjust where adjustment is necessary. This verse was to tell you is a great part of our humanity. It's a great part. I say, Bukta Raja to take the law, wa Allahu Basirum Bima Ya Amalu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching over whatever we call Bukta. And he will reward each and every one accordingly. Best Something is certain. A person who is annoying Allah can never be compared to someone who is pleasing Allah to find him what I want. The right yours shall be in Al-Jannah. And then 
The most righteous shall be in the highest place known as paradise. Although you people, when you say Jannah, you say paradise. You are using heart for the world and using world for the heart. Paradise is just the highest place in the Jannah. So it is wrong for us to always use paradise as the name of a Jannah. And Jannah means garden. And Jannah means garden. Why the paradise in Arabic is Firdaus. Firdaus, that is paradise. So that paradise is just the highest place in a Jannah. So the most righteous people will be in the paradise of a Jannah. At the same time, the most people, especially the hypocrites, will be where? That is what Allah says in Surah to the Surah chapter 4, verse 1. That uh, the hypocrites will be placed in in the lowest depths, the lowest degree of the, the lowest depths of the hellfire, the lowest depths of the hellfire, and that that place is the bottom of the fire. And you know when you find a fire. The bottom of the fire will be the worst. <laughs> will be the worst. And that is why bakers in their own, in their own, when they make the fire, they push the tin inside it, and so quickly it will get baked. will be burnt into ashes, Allah will still renew their bodies for them. They will do good like that so that they can continue testing the consequence of what they did here in the world. Because in the world, they persistently attack the faithful people. Also there in the hellfire, they will be persistently attacked. And what is left for us is to be aware of any of the depictions and attributes of the hypocrites. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says in Hadith, Abbaun man kunna fihi kana munafika. There are the four things that if they are found in the person, then that person is the If he perpetrates any of the attributes of the hypocrites, then he himself will be possessing a trait of the hypocrites. And that one will remain with him until he forsakes it, until he repents and adjusts in the heart that Kadaba. As earlier said, a person who always lies whenever he speaks. Why did I want a person who always breaks his promise whenever he breaks his promise? Why did I want a mother? A person who proves himself treacherous whenever he enters into a treaty with other people. Why the horse, son of Adam, 
Anybody that sees to do that was not, maybe you yourself you are with those people. You are with them, with your mind. Even if you are not with them with your body. <laughs> eh? So you have to be very, very careful. You are better than a neighbor you and I to always be upright. We have said so many things to me this evening. Although the network has not been friendly with us, the network has been uh, disrupting the program. We thank for Metala for the little we are able to achieve. May for Metala inculcate in us the spirit of repenting from whatever. Uh, bad things that we may be doing. We are women. None of us is invaluable. We are all prone to committing mistakes. We are better than help us so that when we die, we die as Muslims. اللهم إنا نعوذ بك أن نشرك بك ونحن نعلم ونعوذ بك مما لا نعلم يا رب العالمين. Is there any question? Is there any question? Okay. In the absence of question, we want to just drop back down and let us see the group and discuss now. So I will open the floor. Your question. Thank you. 
solve the mean in those three lines. That's going to be a vast yes. 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 And there are also mentors. I can give an example. Those in Mecca, some people live, they were born in Mecca, they have been formed from prayer family, and they grew up, and they also perform uh, all the salat. And because of the positions of where they stay, they have more reward of praying in the Kaaba, and also all those other things. They have the ability of being Umar and this thing, and that's the problem. So through that, they get channels of the Lord. I am not communicating. I am not saying that because if you have, if you have such righteousness and you have that reward, because Allah has told you the reward for you, you cannot come that the person that is in this regard, in this country, with the one that for me that for me that for God is this regard in the Arab world. If you can't have not be done with us, if you be, you must be continued. Arab, 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 okay. You can't compare that with the one in Haram. In terms of the world. These people, because they have the world, they have the world to do, they pay Allah, they have all this. And Allah has promised that He will reward you based on the promise He has made for you. Like that, that is the problem. The kind of that reward will give the person automatic, automatic ranking into the hands of the Lord because Allah has promised that. And Allah is always righteous. Allah will never say, He will never deny any of His servants which is the word. Allah, Allah. Uh, I have to know what Allah has to do.
masaku humu ni baksa wa dara wa zunzinu hata ya muda rasulu wa ladina Different diets to eat. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala 